This is for the Maroons and the Blue Mountains of Jamaica. This is for all my Native American moors of Turtle Island just minding their business in Canada until all this colonization bullshit. Riley! My bad, auntie. Chill, this is phenomenal. <laughs> he going in. Um, if you finish, I want to talk about Aaron Hall because uh, he was kind of dragged Aaron into know what he done. And everybody know he done it. I love you, Aaron, and you're probably going to want to spit in my face if you ever should see me again. I haven't seen you since the last time. We was all in Texas together down in Grand Prairie. He was doing a show, and he was just sitting there running around with his shirt off. Aaron, you have all but admitted publicly in interviews that you take the VJJ by force. Mm. You said it yourself. Just tell the truth. Flip on the diddler. And get yourself a good deal. Mm. Just do that. Like, it's just time for everybody to fess up. Why it's time for everybody to get real. Like, come on. The boy got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Hmm. His victim flipped and he's unlost his grip. Jump ship. Abandon, abort, abort, abort mission. Let it go. Let that nigga go to jail with R. Kelly. Tell him to take Sean Cone or Carter with him. Uh -oh. You know, they can do little concerts and shit. Pay their restitution. Like, these people have collectively, including Will Smith, let's not leave him out. Mm. Why your son hate you, nigga? Why does your son hate you? Well, What did you do to Jaden? <clears throat> huh. Had a phone call come through. Sorry about that. One second. I'm going to drop down. I'll be right back. All right, cool. cool. You good. Back. Jaguar White, man. In. Going in. That she always does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She always does. Yeah. I'm curious to know why the level of hip hop is filled with a bunch of violent homo friends <laughs> that get wise but just secretly fuck each other. Like, I'm curious about that because she's not the first one to say that shit. Not at all. We, we've heard that so many times. Throughout the year. Right. Oh, hey, Sorry back. about that. I'm a popular girl these days. Aren't you? It's all good. Now we appreciate you. I, like I was saying before you cut off, why why is the industry, in your opinion, full of a bunch of men who are homo thugs who have wives who disrespect women but secretly are just messing with each other? Like, what is the fascination? What is the intrigue when it comes to the industry with that type of behavior? Understand this, and I'm saying this as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. I'm a bisexual woman. Mm. Out of the closet almost six years. Mm. There is a difference between homosexual relationship, consensual, mm. and forced sodomy mm. for control. Right. Most of the men that would qualify to be in the homo thug category were drugged. Lord, tricked, played, and filmed. Yeah, we heard that before. Yep, yeah, sure. Yeah. Everything's going good, and then next thing you know, you get that envelope Ooh. with a letter inside that says, "Be at this place this time. We need to renegotiate your contract."
Now you a victim twice. Mm. This isn't about sex. Right. It's about control. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't about success. It's about money. This isn't about art. It's about destruction. And they've used one of the greatest gifts that our community has ever had, which is hip hop, mm -hmm. as the vehicle to make this happen. Right. I'm not angry with Usher, he's a victim. But when you decide, hey, I can't beat them, so I'm going to join them. See, that's when me and you got a problem. Well, all these motherfuckers that wanted to sit there and um, talk down about Cassie. What, you think 50 Cent is the only one that got pictures of her being penetrated by a bunch of weird BBC niggas in masks and shit? the only one that got it? A lot of y'all niggas got them pictures, y'all. The first time I saw the Paris Hilton A Night in Paris porno was in a studio. Mm, wow. Matter of fact, most of the porn that I see, matter of fact, the first time I seen the R. Kelly peeing in the little girl face, it was in the studio. Mm. Weirdest pornography I ever seen all my life on a tour bus with a bunch of fucking rappers. Let's just be honest, y'all. Let's just keep it a being. Sucking that nigga dick was better than fucking food stamps. Mm. Let's it. keep it a bean. Yeah. Letting that nigga do all kinds of weird shit to you. Had a price. It was called a Bentley. Let's keep it a bean. Letting that nigga do all kinds of weird stuff with bodily fluids all over you like you a fucking two dollar hoe. Mm. Was worth that movie deal. Fuck you mean. And I'm supposed to be ashamed. Fucking niggas is disgusting. The shit you'll do for money. And let's be honest. Being a black man in America comes along with a whole lot of perks. Black men are the most disrespected men in this country. But if you're willing to get down on your knees and open up your mouth wide, mm. you become a part of an elite crew. Now everybody's afraid of you. Now everybody owes you. Now you have it all and they all wish they could be you, except they don't know you. They don't know you. Mm-hmm. Did you a dick sucking little hoe? <laughs> wow. They should mm. take all of the pictures that they take of these niggas and these women, and they should put that down on the counter with the contract before people sign and say, this is what you're signing up for. Mm. Yeah. But they don't do that. How many predators in the industry were once victims in the industry? Damn near all of them. Yeah. I'd say 98%. So if you could, if if you, if to the best of your knowledge, who's this, what, who or what is the source when it comes to the behavior Evil. in hip hop? Evil. Yeah. It's the source of everything bad. This is evil. Fucking up families, ruining lives. Giving young girls venereal diseases before they turn 18. Making sure they have uncomfortable conversations to have with their gynecologists and their future husbands. Mm. Fuck you, bitch. Mm. 